Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Shapiro and Allen that was played in New Jersey in 1973. New Jersey is a state in the United States. White started with d4. Black played knight to f6, knight to f3, g6, bishop to f4, bishop to g7, and now not c4, but knight to c3. If d6, then white can play e4. So to prevent e4, black played d5. Queen to d2, c6, bishop to h6. Castling is possible. After bishop takes bishop, king takes bishop and h4. Black didn't like to play this continuation. So instead he captured bishop on h6, queen takes bishop, queen to b6 attacking pawn on b2, white castled queenside, a5, this is not a5, this is a5, and now e4, opening the files and trying to catch a black king. If pawn takes pawn, the knight to g5 regaining the pawn. So in the game black played the bishop to g4 pinning knight, if knight moves bishop takes rook. Bishop to d3 was played, and now black saw the opportunity to win the pawn. Pawn on d4 is protected by the knight, so black removed the defender. Pawn takes bishop, queen takes pawn on d4. Black is a pawn up. What is the cost? Black king is not safe. And black pieces are not developed. What about white? All white pieces are developed and white king is safe. The game continued. Pawn takes pawn and black recaptured with knight. If c takes on d5, how should white continue then? Have a good look. What would you play? Would you play this? Check winning queen. So black captured with knight, bishop to e4 discovered attack on the queen, queen to e5. Perhaps better move was queen to c5 or queen takes pawn on f2. But let's say if queen goes to c5, this is what black didn't like. Queen coming to g7 attacking rook. So in the game queen to e5 was played, now bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, white made the move and black resigned. Rook from h to e1 immediately is also a good move. White Captured on d5 at night, black resigned because rook is coming to e1 to attack queen and then the pawn on e7. If e6 is played, then rook from h to e1 and where is the queen going? If queen goes to d6, you would have a check and after king to e7, rook takes queen. King takes rook, check, and after king to c6, rook lift, and white is easily winning. If black wanted to save the queen, he could have played, for example, knight to c6, making room for queen on b8, and now after rook from h to e1, queen to b8. Now, rook takes pawn immediately is possible, but I think this is a very cute variation. Queen to g7 attacking rook, 
rook to f8 and now queen to f6 threat is checkmate if knight takes queen knight takes knight checkmate what else can black do he can play queen to d8 and then we would have this deflection tactic knight to c7 check queen is deflected queen takes pawn check mate the conclusion is winning a pawn in the opening is not always the advantage more important is to develop all the pieces and to have safe king and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.